Hey guys, it's Nick Super. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is episode 33 of our playthrough, so thanks for coming back with us. I don't know when this video is going to be out. I've been doing Pokemon Shield every Monday, and if it is Monday when this premieres, then happy Monday to you all. I don't know, but we might try to get some more Pokemon Shield out more than once per week. Maybe that's a good idea during this quarantine, you know? Okay, so last time we defeated the seventh gym in Spike Myth. We defeated Pierce, the only gym where you cannot Dynamax, mind you. For now, I don't know. Right now we're in Hammerlock, and we have to go to Hammerlock Stadium to meet up with Leon, I believe, so... If you haven't caught up on our first 32 episodes of this playthrough, make sure... ...to watch all of them. Playlist is in the description below, as well. We also have Super Mario Maker 2 out every single Saturday, so make sure you check that out, Super Mario Maker 2 to return, you know? I made a couple episodes on that lately, so let's get started, guys. Camera. Here. Well, if it isn't Nick Super, I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard Leon. You took down the Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what all is, but what all is going on here? An overflowing red light. Pokemon Dynamaxing within a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure. What's going on? The red light suddenly appear again at any time and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Gren? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I asked you... I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonya. You know more than anyone about the darkest day after all. Are you saying that red light and the darkest day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we can do to help out? There must be. Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you would be that you would join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? There's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Looks like we all know what we need to do. So you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. I know what I need to do, alright? Defeat that Pierce once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah? Look super. Rylan's a tough enough to crack. Yes, guys, we are going to challenge the final gym in this episode. So, let's do this. Our team as it stands, Barrafuda, Grimmsnarl, Toxtricity, Hatterini, Cinderace, and Corviknight. This is a dragon-type gym, so we will use Grimmsnarl and 
kind of read the most I would think. So let's do this, guys. This is the final gym. Pokemart here, which should definitely up. So 244,000 points. Let's get those max potions ready. Alright. Oh god. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher up your Pokemon's level is compared to your opposing well Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just for surprises, don't you think? Huh, where is my Pokeball ball guy? Hey, give me my Pokeball. Dang it. Blah 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 grass types. Alright. The long gym challenge is near its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the Trim yeah, Dragon user Rhyhon. Yes, we are. Let's do this! That uniform you wear is a symbol of all of your victories. I feel your determination. Now, now, head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. Going for the vault this time, huh? Alright, well, let's do this. Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited? Ryan, why don't you stop looking at your phone? Okay. Let's see, how many gym challenges are left? Huh, not even 10, eh? Alright then, McSuper, time to explain the great Ryan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers and personally train in double battle. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Can't see your face, dude. Okay, Leader Rahan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Let's do this! First gym trainer of Hammerlock, Jim, let's go, Pelipper and Sligoo. You're not all dragon types. I do realize that. Dazzling gleam on both of them and we will use We'll use the play rough on Pelipper. Nice damage. Killing. You should really attack, you know, with the rain and stuff. Water pulse. Sliggy is a water type move. Hmm. Well, it didn't do as much to the bot on Sliggy, that's for sure. Toxtricity level 50. Water pulse. Confuse hacks, that shouldn't matter anymore. Pulse surrender, let's go. I do realize that the levels are getting up there, that's for sure. Grimmsnarl 50. Okay, alright. I can see why you've managed to make it this far. Two more people. 
Camila, okay. Can you double that off? It's important to figure out what role each of your opponent's Pokemon play. Alright, Gym Trainer Camila, let's go. Ninetail and Turbinator. Oh, so you're gonna set up the sun, am I right? Ah, rain, drought, sandstorm, maybe that's next. Please, Dazzling Glee in here, and we'll use false surrender on nine tails. What you do? Shell shroud. Oh, that's not good. Willows. Oh, you, you burned Hatterady. That's a bad idea. You should have burned the Grimmsnarl. Pretty good damage. Dazzling Glee. Oh, come on. Why? Shell trap didn't work. Alright, uh, we'll use Psychic on Turtonator and we'll use uh, Sucker Punch on Ninetail. He's using Shell Trap again. Oh, come on, what? Oh, you missed? Haha. <laughs> Psychic will kill Turtonator, good. Burn kind of sucks. Alright, uh, we psychic on nine tails and I hope Sucker Punch works. Yes, good job. Yes. Alright. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. I can see those seven badges you have are more well earned. Aria, okay. Another last trainer here. Let's, first of all, go and heal up that burn. We don't want that, do we? Okay. Wonderful battle. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through? Or do you have one of them to support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. Dream Trainer Aria. A Plumber Snow and a Kamaho. You're setting up hail. Oh, all right. That's a fun thing, right? No good damage, good damage. Shadow Claw. That didn't do very much. I thought that would do a little bit more. I see wind. That's, that might do a little. Yeah. Speed drop for both of us. I hope this is it. Dazzling Gleam should take them out, I hope. Four times effective on a combo. Alright. And that's it for the gym trainers. That was awfully quick. Cooperation between trainers and their Pokemon blah 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 even more. I don't know what she said. Okay. Well done. I am honored to have battle against this such a talented trainer. Nice one, Miss Super. You've completed my gym mission. Come on. Time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Oh, we are doing this, Rahan. All right. Let's check our Pokemon and make sure they're all healed up for this. Let's get Hatterini back in the shape. That super potion on Grim's uh, Grimstar, and we should be good. These two will carry the game. 
Let's do this. Why am I walking to the wall? Okay. It is Rylan, the final gym leader. In the final time, we might hear the gym leader music. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. Come on, man. You really have to roast me. But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer than Leon saw promising. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather, he also seeks two on two battles. He must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. You're referring to, to yourself in the third person, it's kind of weird. But, anyways, let's get this underway. Let's go. Sandstorm damage. Alright. Around on. That's, that's a little bit of a problem. I think we're going to switch here. Stand a corner. Okay. So, how to read you? We're going to switch out for Ferris Scooter. Protect? That's interesting. Max Steel Spike? My, that's a resisted hit. Defense Rose, that's not good. That's terrible. What? There's nothing. Right? Don't worry about it. Let's do this.
frame corrupt is real right now. Liquidation the still for status. Oh my gosh! Steel spike again. Alright, there goes Grimmsnarl. I sure have switched him out, I know. You are paralyzing him. Oh no! It's terrible. Tough battle, guys. Sit in the race. Let's go. I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. You do look good. You do look good, Rylan. Losing with such a smile on your face. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after the storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems like I've grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory. The dragon badge. And with that, we have gotten all eight gym badges perfect. Now when you're way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon, you must. You owe us that much at least for being us beating us in the battle here today. That was a pretty good battle. You've collected all of the gym badges, and last it's time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you all do in battle. Hey, Miss Super! Sorry to hold you up, but there was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of my respect here, Team 99, it contains the move Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe's a good move, I like it. 
drain type gym uniform. Yes, let's go. Number 890, you've completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region of the Champions Cup. Right on, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that will make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you and my super and even lead. I'll be seeing you, McSuper. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to train hard in the Wong area. Maybe. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. Next time, we're going to make our way to Winden for the semifinals and finals of the Champion Cup. We'll make our way. It's going to be a long road to that. Well, that was a tough battle. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon from our Pokemon Shield. And as always, it is time for us to go. See you guys. Have a great rest of your week.